What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Sunday. Uh, about three hours from now, we'll be doing our live stream, um, our, our Sunday live stream that'll switch to Saturdays in a couple of weeks because the football season will be here. And if you are a channel member, um, the link will be in the description so that way you can be part of the conversation. And I have to say, man, it's crazy. Mozzie Smith is getting a lot of blowback and a lot of flack uh, for his uh, performance last night. And here's where it gets to be crazy because Micah Parsons has ruined it for Mozzie Smith. And you're like, what are you talking about? Micah didn't even play. Yeah, but see, here's the problem. Typically, rookies don't come out the back box and play like the Dallas Cowboys have had. We have been spoiled by a lot of our players that we have drafted. You think about C.D. Lamb came out, you know, boom, you know, he played really well, but it wasn't just C.D. Lamb. See, here's the difference between, say, Cowboys first rounders versus the other teams. The Cowboys haven't ever really been ass-ass where their first-round pick is picked to be a savior. Now, we had, of course, um, 20, after the 2015 season, you know, we were 4-12, but we had a great offensive line. We weren't really a 4-12 team. We were a 4-12 team because we didn't have a quarterback. And that's why Dak Prescott was able to do a lot of the things that he did because you had the basis that was there. But typically, with a lot of teams that are having top five picks and things like that, they are guys that deemed franchise savers. But the Cowboys, you know, when we have drafted guys, and we got, you know, Travis Frederick, well, we already had, you know, uh, Tyron Smith there. When we got Zach Martin, we already had Travis Frederick and Tyron Smith. They didn't have to be that guy on their own. When we got Micah Parsons, Micah Parsons is 100% unique. There aren't players out there like Micah Parsons. That's just a fact. You're not going to find many players that can do what he did right off the bat. It's few and far between. But see, we have gotten literally spoiled because we've seen what C.D. Lamb has done. We've seen what Micah Parsons has done. And we expect that from everybody. But the reality is, is going from college football, where you finish up the college season and then you're training everything for the combine. And once you do the combine, you're doing all these pro visits and everything. And as soon as you're drafted, you're then thrown into the NFL and you have all of 11 practices. We expect these guys to come out and be Hall of Famers week one. And that's not the reality of where these guys are. Oh. Let me give you an example. Because, see, again, Micah Parsons, even Micah Parsons' rookie year, he got better as the season went on. But let's take uh, Michael Gallup. Michael Gallup's rookie season, it wasn't until the Washington game, October 21st, that he had three catches. In fact, that was the first game that he actually got a touchdown. Every other game before that, he had basically one catch, and I think he had one game with two catches in it. But that game, three catches, 81 yards, TD. After that time, his numbers started getting better and more consistently better as the season went on. Because as a rookie, your eyes are wide open. The things that you did in college, where you may have been one of the top dogs out there, now everybody's good. On top of that, you take Mozzie Smith, who's been a one-technique guy, coming into Dan Quinn's system. Dan Quinn is going to use you in a multitude of ways. You have to understand, when you play for Dan Quinn with this defense that he's doing with the Cowboys, you have to be a gadget guy. We hear about D-Law, defensive end, maybe playing some tackle. You know, Micah Parsons may play eight positions. We have safeties that are really heavy linebackers, excuse me, light linebackers in the heavy nickel situation. And so with Mozzie Smith, he's not only playing the one technique, 
He's also playing the three technique. And you're like, big deal. You're a defensive lineman. All you do is just hit the guys in front of you. It's not that simple. As a one technique guy, you are there literally hand-to-hand -hand combat every play. You're this close to the center. You're getting hit by the center and the guard. Now you're playing three technique, you're sliding out, now you're playing on the guard, you're a little further away from the guard. And all these things matter. And so now you're thinking about what you have to do. And see, in football, here's the thing with football, you can't think. It has to be reaction. And everything Mozzie Smith has been doing has been reaction to this close contact. Now, instead of being a football length away from the center, now, you are about a yard plus away from the guard because here's what you have to do as a guard. Guards are not up on the line of scrimmage the same way a center is. Your ear hole has to be where the belt buckle is, which is about a yard off the ball. So now, the difference is I've got a step before I can engage. And if you're used to having that step and immediately you've got contact, now your body position is different. You may get, you may rise up. And so you now, instead of having that ball right there where you instantly see it, now you got to look inside to find the ball. These things make a difference and why I'm not worried about Mozzie Smith. And the good thing for the Cowboys is, here's the good news for the Cowboys. Mozzie Smith has Hankins there. He's got Quentin Bohannon there. He is going to be an additional piece. It's not going to be that he's thrown to the wolves and it's sink or swim, and we are going to sink or swim with him as he goes. And if you haven't looked at just Jalen Tolbert, for example, somebody who has been written off after last year, who was completely lost out there, I can't guarantee you he's going to be great, but you're seeing a lot better this year than you did last year. It may not be what you want, where you expect him to come out and be Reggie White week one, but as the season goes on and as he gets used to playing, as he gets used to working with these guys, he will get better and better. And I'm not sold on him already being a bust like a lot of people. Leave Mozzie alone. He's gonna be okay. I promise you, he's going to be okay. Oh, man, the things that we worry about as Cowboy fans, I don't know how you literally take a guy in two preseason games playing with backups that he's now a bust. Come on, people. Come on. Give the man time. Don't put all this pressure on his back. Let him grow. Let him grow. Mm. It's nice actually being here in my workshop today. Look at this. Mm. That isn't a piece of beauty from the red brick house. This is going to become part of the cabinet doors. I love some wood. All right, good people. I'll see you guys at 5 o'clock Eastern. If you're out in Cali, be safe. Peace.